Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Panzer Corps 2 here in Barbarossa South. Second episode. that note why would they have anti-tank veteran they're never gonna get it even infantry veteran is extremely unlikely why are they so lazy in their design they could have made something different but instead they just decided that they don't care and they just went and uh, just slap the same medals on there, just like anything else. Some people tell me that I shouldn't complain so much, but when a product continues to let you down, even though you expected something better, that just kind of sucks. I'm just a an angry consumer that is uh, frustrated that their product does not meet the criteria that they thought it would have. Instead... It, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, uh, it's a shame, really. It's, it's frustrating in a way. I, I, I had hopes for this game. I was, I was skeptical at the start, but I had hopes, and, uh, yeah, I, sh I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have had hope that the game would be uh, would live up to its predecessor actually shouldn't this be a surrender yeah and that's uh that's a real shame actually I'm yeah just uh oh, it just sucks you know Uh, anyway, let's try to beat up these regulars. They're not gonna surrender unless I push them in there. So let's move you down there and then oh, okay, yeah, well that that happens. I'm probably still taking damage here. Yep. Oh, they didn't even retreat. Great. I would have uh, liked getting a surrender there, but I guess that didn't happen. Right. So now on to these guys. I don't have any anti... I don't have any air units that can shell them, so I'm likely getting hit myself, but sometimes you're just gonna have to take the risk. And at least this time that turned out to be relatively positive. One, two, th okay, they're not gonna go up here. Um, so I can't really move that far with the artillery, so just kind of have to hope that they lo don't launch a counterattack this turn. Well, they shouldn't be able to see any of these, so I think it'd be okay. I'd hope it'd be okay. Let's attack there. You here, you here, you there. Bombers everywhere. Tank is probably the most expensive. T 
38, they, they really use some obscure units. <clears throat> That's for sure. Okay, let's reorganize here. So I want to attack this on the next turn, which is why I'm putting these guys out there into that area. Just so one, two, three, four. Ah, that's no good. Don't want them to see that particular recon, although I yeah, don't know how they're going to take care of that now. Okay, well, let's attack. Okay. Finish them off. There's actually a pretty long distance on this map that needs to be covered. And I'll keep bombing, they can keep repairing. I mean, this is not super great, but they're auxiliaries, so I don't really care whether they take damage or not. I'd rather them than me. Should actually do this the last. Um, especially since they seem to be having another counterattack, so they can now see at least these units. Um, I want to stay out of the field of vision with the other units that I have here. The airfield around Tarnopol is definitely the closest to everything. And uh, Rivne, never heard of that city before. It kind of means that all of this is now pretty much set because I don't want to move forward anyway. Okay. That's interesting. So a BT that did move, but nothing else, huh? Let's take a bit of a better look here. S... What is this? SU-6... AT. Uh, now I need to go for statistics. Um, yeah. So, 10 initiative, which is much higher than any tank that I have. And 18 heart attack. Holy moly. If we look at the Panzerjäger, uh, let's just go for the Panzerjäger for a bit. That's 10. 10 to 16. Twelve defense. They have it too. But this seems to be exceptionally powerful. Compared because my units have such low defense, uh, plays uh, a large part there. Okay, so I have to watch out for that. It also has six movement. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, wow. Oh. So... 
I would have to lure it. Yeah, but I don't think they will deal any damage anyway. That's why I bombed them. They don't really have a whole lot of effect. Funny that artillery does seem to have that desired effect. 10-5. And they're a bunker killer, but that doesn't help it. If I do this, I cannot provide protection Two, three, four, five, six. So you can't. One, two. Two point eight. Three point six. Four point four. Five point two. Six point zero. Oh. Okay, so it can go up till here. Recon can always hit me. Mm, these also can't. But these guys at eighteen. We have a 30% with each hit. They attack first. But only th potential one and a half damage. So that's clearly not enough. Hmm. Minus two. Oh wow, they have crazy air attack even if in this mode, huh? Wow, okay. So any unit that I put in here, they will be able to attack it. That seems troublesome. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they can't reach this. So as unfortunate as it is. Just have to finish them off like that and then hope that they are going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. They're going to be lured into attacking one of these two. And they cannot get past that. Right. Meanwhile, just keep doing whatever I'm doing with those guys. Uh, th this stronghold shouldn't be that big of a problem anymore though. Mm. Still. Definitely getting closer. You should stay in that position there. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. But they can they can actually see that. So that's no good. No, actually despite everything, if they think this is actually very likely the best possible outcome. One, two, three, four, five, six.
relocate over here. Ah, they went for this. I mean, it's expected, but... Right, nice. There we go. Anti tank attacks after moving minus ten, huh? So it does count for them. Hmm. Okay. But at the very least now also I can take that without too much trouble. And then nothing can be seen here, so they're unlikely to... <clears throat> ...be able to muster up mus lots of a fight here. I mean, this is a bit of a mess, but at least I took the airfield, which is what it was important. And I think that for the most part, I can now focus on getting to Jitomir there. <laughs> okay. Good for them. Okay, so. Looking to encircle these. But I have to be careful because those guys are also still out there. Now, I could bomb them to severely weaken them. So they would go to seven out of nine. They would go to eight out of eight if they are encircled at this point. And in order to encircle them, at the very least, I need to have a unit in this position. There we go. Yeah, an all-terrain unit would be able to go here. That's that's the thing actually. So they are sure to come out. But now that they are neutralized like that, I don't think they're going to be that big of an issue. My biggest trouble actually is getting up here. A bit worried about that. Let's actually do this.
Because I don't think they're going to attack. I think they're going to repair. Or they're just going to keep standing there. <clears throat> and I do think that by this point, time is going to be of the essence a bit. So... No, uh, I can finish the mission without doing it. Okay, let me let let's just soften them up already a bit too. Okay, that's totally fine. And they are coming out, wow. Ah, luckily only the recon. Anti-aircraft. Really? There we go. I almost got scared there. Naturally, still taking damage, and these guys didn't move. This guy reminds me of those orcs in Lord of that one orc in the second Lord of the Rings movie in the Battle of Helm's Deep, where Legolas couldn't prevent this one guy from putting the torch to the bombs that they put under a wall, like. Uh, this Legolas was able to absolutely murder everybody up till that point and defy gravity, uh, f you know, skateboard off of some ledges on a shield, things like that. But then he couldn't kill that one orc, and it's exactly what's happening here. It's, uh... <laughs> it's just. And now he can't go through there and they're gonna wreck me. Uh, yeah. Makes super sense. Alright, well, hopefully this way it won't be that bad, but. Uh, yeah, that's just kind of how I felt. Alright. Um, I should, though, try to attack here, too. I don't think there's gonna be an ar another armored counter defense. And if there is, it's probably in the back. Did I take damage there? I No, I didn't. Oh, it was hard to say. I would like to destroy these guys, though, but it doesn't seem like that's going to be possible. No.
Mm, no, nothing can get in there, so why not? All right, let's take a look. They do have an ar their armored counteroffensive. Wow. Well, at least these guys can reach it, but this recon can. Unbelievable. I wonder how things are up there then. I mean, I have to advance at some point. Okay, nothing there yet. Really hope that these are the last ones then. Because uh, I might be in trouble otherwise. How did they see that, though? How did they see that? Or is it the AI cheating again? Oh, yeah, it is. Of course. Because why fucking not? Whatever. I'm really... Unless they... No, they can't. They need to have a bunker here. Again, this is complete bullshit. God fucking Christ. Hey, excuse me for being pissed about this shit, but come on. Like, throughout the entire grand campaign of Panscor 1, I may have had one or two instances where I could not explain the behavior of the AI. And that's... Hundreds of hours of gameplay, and I've played this game not even 30 hours. And I've already had, you know, three to four times more incidents where the AI is just cheating their way to get better results. It's just... There is nothing, nothing that could have seen it. So why is it not an ambush? It has to be an ambush. Nope, it's just cheating. All right. Again, people are surprised why I complain. Well, this is why I complain. I know surrounding it is technically better, but I don't give a fuck anymore. I'll just destroy it. I'm absolutely done.
Just putting them there for the mass attack bonus. <laughs> Doesn't matter, of course. No, they have a cavalry, but it should be blocked here at least. I don't care if they uh, they repair. Mm. Right, I can already see how this is going to develop. They can't do any damage, okay. I'm really uh, surprised that they... Uh, it does seem to be empty now, though. Hmm. Well, we know that this unit is not going to move. Uh, might as well bomb it. This is a regular infantry. Alright, so... to rebase and I need to find that cavalry can only move up one hex so that's fine Six, I should go to eight initiative. Should be fine, I think. Yeah. Okay, 
so what I'll be doing is moving you in here and these to the back. So that should be a fun surprise for them when they try to attack the Panzer IV. Yeah, still not attacking naturally. And then moving in here. Right. Let's see, aircraft gun there and here. Then let's start moving these guys over to Venezia. This place is practically mine already. I just need to swing south where there are probably very little enemy units. Hmm. They start repairing this unit. That's interesting. Okay, and they have 13 attack. So it's a 5% chance of dealing damage. Five strength points. They're at eight out of ten. All right. This should make him surrender or dead. Also works. Use the Stur Emil. There we go. Now it's uh, encirclement time for these. They're not going to get out, and I would like to get all of the artillery there. So that's those hexes. Right, there we are. There's really no rush for me, so I'll just leave them and bypass them by starting to move down here. Meanwhile, oh, they did repair these guys now. Hmm. I'll attack them from this side, so I can push them into the river hex. And then they can't retreat. So they'll get destroyed on the next turn. Fine, fine, let's move these to this airfield. And I'll start attacking these units uh, here. Oh, wow, they actually got some entrenchment while on the actual road. That is quite something. Impressive, even. Mm-hmm. 
Mhm. Let's use the recon first. Scout things. So going down here, taking all the artillery with me. Once again, they seem to be incapable of repairing properly. There is nothing in here. That would be quite ridiculous. Do you there? There'll be a... Uh, Yeah, let's get a bit closer. So this way can't actually move you and leave you out of this. Because then uh, it's a bit easier to take those cities. Okay, and there are ten seven. So ten nine. There we go. Now start moving down with these guys as well. Take that airfield. I said they don't actually have anything there. Mm, 
you have six oppression, you have none. Well, uh, Okay. Basically, they cannot see that they can suddenly attack. They have been moving, they haven't been moving for a long time. So, I should be safe, technically. Okay, they're at 8, so they're going to go to 10. So doing this and this should allow them to take the airfield, get them encircled. And what's your vision? Vision of 1. So moving you here should keep them hidden, keep them safe. And... There is no unit that can reach this, so this should work as well. Rebase to Balta. And that should... ...be it though. See, so that's obviously a cheat, because they haven't attacked all this time, they can't see it, and now conveniently on the turn that there is no infantry here, they are going to attack. It's clear proof. They haven't attacked for 10 turns until the turn where this unit moves. Irrefutable proof. Anyway, I'm at turn 17, so... Like, I'm lucky that they are just not very likely to be able to deal damage now, but... Yeah, just the fact that the AI cheats like this is very annoying. I am not pleased by that at all, actually. Like, instead of making the AI smarter in an honest way, it uh, apparently has to cheat like this. Just, uh... Yeah, that's just not nice. Okay, they wouldn't surrender if uh, they didn't lower their entrenchments. Let's see if it helps. Great. <clears throat> that means this infantry can now push through. Alright, I cannot encircle them this turn, but what I need to do is position myself so I can, can actually do that, which I'm looking to do right now. Because they're also very likely just to repair their units this turn, I am 
not in much trouble. Yeah, it's an absolute cheat. That, uh, I think it's really fucked up, but whatever, you know, if, if you want to design a game like that, it's, just, it's shameful, actually. Mm, so they have zone of control here, but since I have nothing that can get zone of control in there, basically I need, I think this also works, getting you here out of sight because then This, this, this. Now I only need to get a unit in here. Okay, well, I guess I'm moving units in that direction because this is not so important now anymore now that the AI cheated its way into, you know, potentially taking those objectives and basically I might even have to, to replay because of that because, uh, Yeah, I'll, I'll prevent them from crossing the bridge. That's uh, a good idea, I think. And let's start shelling those heavies because they might get frisky anyway. These guys are already quite suppressed now. Yeah, they're entirely suppressed, so they don't matter anymore. So this is fine, this is safe. Just unbelievable that Luckily, it's not a victory hex, but... Okay, this is this is fine. I wouldn't lose the encirclement from this. Right, let's start the surrender progress here. They might still be somewhat dangerous on the next turn, so I have to be careful. They're at 9 out of 9, okay, so this is 3 damage, there's probably no way to deal less. Although the anti-tank would, yeah. There we go.
Surprised they cannot split. Hmm. But that's fine. <laughs> wow. Okay, they suddenly did a whole lot more damage than I would have expected. Now this wins me the mission, so I'm not gonna attack, but I will keep them encircled in order to get that to seven. Still dangerous though. Especially given that, okay, let's put the artillery there. This is soft target, so that would help. Um, and yeah, I'm still even willing to move parts of that through. Let's see if I can take some of that back. <laughs> oh, they got back all of that? Huh. That's weird. I thought they wouldn't lose it on their turn. Hmm. Well. This entire situation is pretty retarded anyway. Okay. So they would get pushed out of there if I do this. Right? Exactly. So And then I need to suppress you. And I'll suppress them again. And another time. Because this should push them out of that hex. This allows me to destroy that. Like, I'm getting additional prestige, that's the ridiculous part, but it's just... Knowing that the AI cheats like this is me very disappointed. And, uh... I can't properly make them surrender. I think. Uh, let's see. Although they can't retreat a second time, I think. Or they can. Maybe a third time. Oh, There's two movements, so now they're done. All right, let's uh, see if we've gotten everything. Seems like we did. Okay, there we go. All right, that was Barbaros South. Uh, I mean, I did well, but there was a lot of frustration with the enemy movement and such again. Got another instance where the enemy just moved with precognition, didn't get an ambush in the area where it should, just strange behavior, then they conveniently suddenly attacked over here, even though they couldn't see that they had to attack beforehand, conveniently, so that's also really weird, and they couldn't see, for example, this infantry, so yeah, that was messed up. Uh, things like that and then coupled th that with <laughs> with my uh, disappointment that the that one of the designers uh, basically gave away that there are a lot of things in this game or at least some things in this game that they cut short because they needed more money was also not that exciting for me so yeah that added again to my disappointment and uh, my continued disappointment of uh, this game as well 
still I'll continue to move along uh, with Army Group North again next will be in Leningrad thanks for watching take care see you next time bye bye